Sarah is Vice Principal of Future College and she wants to do her utmost to ensure all learners can have fulfilling careers. Like other VPs, she's also under pressure from Ofsted to meet common inspection framework requirements to engage employers. But she knows that engaging employers to provide workplace benefits means a massive cultural shift within her staff. A shift that requires motivation and knowledge. Scott's a teacher who knows it's important to engage local employers. However, between preparation, teaching, tutorials, marking and assessments, he never has time. And where would he even start? He doesn't have business cards, can't answer his phone during the day, hasn't got a clue how to sell and doesn't have time for breakfast or evening networking events. Meanwhile, Jane, HR Director at White Space Limited, needs access to talent. She drives past the college daily and doesn't even know it exists, let alone that it offers access to the young talent she needs to expand the business. Sarah heard of working knowledge and that they have over eight years' experience of engaging top employers in full-time education. Working Knowledge knows how employers operate and how to engage them. They also understand teachers and support staff and their challenges. Sarah asks Working Knowledge to run two days of dynamic hands-on training involving relevant employers followed up with regular online coaching. This equips her staff with the tools to develop an online network of eager and local business volunteers and convert this network to provide a multitude of benefits, such as work experience placements, co-designing of curriculum and offering stimulating careers. But training alone won't deliver this. What's the ongoing commitment needed by college staff? Just 20 minutes a day by following the working knowledge method. Working knowledge, bridging the gap between education and the workplace.